Hey guys, Michael from Kate Thanks for stopping by checking out this Mavic video. But today we're going to check out the landing pad from the guys at Power Extra. This thing runs about 30 bucks, and the guys at Power Extra have actually included in a discount. So I'll put a link in the uh, description below that you can order this thing at a discount. But it does come in this little convenient carrying case, super easy to throw in your bag. But it does come with these little stakes so you can stake it down in windy conditions, but it's just super, just pops open like that. But we're also going to test out and just see how the Mavic does as far as the, um, with the visual tracking, the cameras on the landing, on how precise the landing is. And some of you may be here like I had to do to find out how to fold this crazy thing up. But we'll do that here at the end of the video. Super easy. So we'll basically get the Mavic out there, do a return to home, and to see how accurately it does come back down and lands. But yeah, I mean, if you're not comfortable with hand catching and hand releasing, then one of these landing pads are really going to be valuable because it's not always practical. There's times that I don't want to burn up battery life while I'm trying to get all the settings by, you know, hand launching and then try to figure out all my settings. I like to set it down like we have here. That way I can figure out all the settings, get my waypoint situated, get my camera adjustments on point, and then take off from there. We'll take it up, let the visual sensors orient itself, and then we'll fly it out, do a return to home, and see how close it comes to landing dead set back on the H on that landing pad. So we'll go ahead and hit our auto takeoff. Takeoff. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. All right, hopefully it's got itself oriented. And beautiful day out here at Lake Chickamauga. So we'll take this thing out and just fly it out. About 1,500 feet out. Go ahead and turn her back around. And we are way down, right, way past that boat, right there on that little, kind of little island out there, or little beach, I should say. So we'll go ahead and hit the return to home. Slide to return to home. You can hear the beeping, it is coming back. So we'll let it land, see how close it is, and see if we can get it to actually land back on the pad without any adjustments from me. Don't have those stakes in the ground all the way, which I probably should have done. So I'm still, I have not touched, I've not aborted yet. It's coming down. I have not made any touches on the control. Landing area not suitable for landing. Please move to a safer place. How funny is that? We actually have a landing pad. So I'm gonna tell it okay. But, so it stopped. It really, I don't know why it said unsuitable unless it thinks the blue may be water it is a little bit reflective i'm coming straight down i've not made any adjustments so it literally landed right where it took off from so that's pretty impressive but again i'll put a link in the description below there is a discount if you want to pick one of these up um, again i think it's you know from the price point it's at it's worth its weight in gold. Will you use it every time? Probably not. I hand catch, hand launch mine a lot, but there is a lot of times that I do want to be able to set it down and take the time to get my settings correct on everything. And uh, being at the beach or someplace like that, or really anywhere, because you know that the gimbal and the camera being so low to the ground like that, it just blows up dust almost on every single type of environment. But anyhow, guys, thanks for checking out this video. We got a lot more stuff coming in that we're going to test out with the Mavic. So uh, stay tuned for that. Appreciate you watching this channel. And if you get a chance, check out our other channel, our outdoor channel, youtube.com forward slash don't rough it. But thanks for stopping by. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and we will see you in the next video. All right, guys, and folding this thing back up, let's just see how easy that is. Because, again, I had to YouTube it. So some of you may be here watching this video just to see how to fold this crazy thing up.
So basically you just want to take it on each side, twist it, and just keep twisting. And it's literally that easy. But it is kind of awkward if you're not used to it. But again, just pops out, and you just want to twist it and just keep twisting. 